YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy D Degener representing D and D Gaming, and I have some Cleveland Browns gameplay for, for you guys going against the Tennessee Di Titans. Excuse me. In this gameplay, man, this is an online rank match. First time playing with Johnny Manziel, aka Mr. Cash. Still overthrows a pass. Um, he's definitely a very good quarterback, as you see right now. I'm using Hoyer. <clears throat> At first, I forgot to put him in the game, but right here, he's getting me on the fourth and six. I'm being real di disrespectful. And I don't end up getting it, man. So he ends up making me pay for it. Uh, my opponent was really, he was a uh, nice quality opponent, man. Definitely know he was doing on the offensive office side, office side of the ball. Except that play. You know, I had that play pretty much uh, locked up, man. <laughs> uh, it's kind of hard to run a uh, read option against me because I'm so so uh, ready for it as he throws a dot right there over the middle. Uh, but we eventually end up stopping him. So he ends up taking his field goal. He's up three to nothing right there. And now I, fi I finally put in uh, Johnny Manziel in his first first pass attempt, man. Third to sixteen, end up getting that huge conversion, man. And again, <laughs> trying to get another conversion right here, fourth and ten. I throw a dot right there. That was a questionable pass. That should have, might have, might have been turnover on downs, but instead, uh, we end up getting a first down and another fourth down conversion, man. You see Miles Austin getting big, end up scoring the touchdown. Uh, it's almost halftime. Uh, I mean, this video is pretty like a like a five minute video or whatever, but uh, he ends up getting a run right there. Uh, I'm going to be probably recording my Minnesota scheme Thursday or Friday between those those two days. So you definitely have the uh, whole scheme by a uh, little scheme by the weekend right here, second and 13. Man, he throws a nice dot right there, moving the chains, trying to get into the end zone before halftime. Look at me use a dot tape Whitner. I'm about to use the pick that. But instead, he ends up getting that pass to the tight end, man. I was so, I was like, dude, are you serious? I was right there with Dante Whitner. Why is he not reacting? Um, this game was played uh, whew, a few days before, after the game came out, man. I was still trying to find a scheme. But uh, I'm using the San Francisco playbook and, uh, on offense. And you see me using a triple option with Johnny Manziel. It was the only right to do it. <laughs> playing with Johnny Manziel, you gotta put that little college back in his life. And right here, we hit a, hit him with that little hitch route, man. Definitely uh, a nice route in this game. Kills man and kills zone as well. As you see, we get a huge game right there. Right, here. Uh, <clears throat> with six seconds left on the clock, we end up running with Johnny Manziel. I was gonna throw it, but the John <laughs> Johnny Manziel has the wheels, of course. So halftime, gets a nice pass off right there, man. Uh, I believe it's to his tight end Delaney Walker. Uh, he ends up running it again with Sean Green. He comes out in the five wide, uh, covering the drags, man. But instead, somebody ends up uh, being open right there. So that's just a good read by him. Uh, my opponent definitely was making reads, man. Definitely trying out uh, different plays. But I'm sorry, son. Give me that pick, boy. Ended up getting that pick right there with Gilbert, man. Uh, he was going to go for the screen, but we had it locked up. Try to get that one-on-one -on -one matchup. Uh, yeah, he made a good decision to go to that uh, route, but uh, my guys just reacted right here. Another great con uh, conversion right there on third down, little with the little hitch route. Send a blitz that drag ends up being wide open, so especially against blitzes, man. That's why I uh, encourage you guys to you hit the drags more often. Our first attempt, we get a, a nice pass over the middle. He ends up calling the timeout. So with three seconds left, uh, fourth and two, I end up uh, taking my field goal, going up two possessions, man. I definitely needed that right there. Right in first and ten hits me with a drag. I actually I was blitzing that play and he caught me. Good read by him. Ends up getting a huge gain. Could have been more so just a good save tackle, uh, saving tackle by Joe Hayden right there. Right in fourth and goal. Huge uh, he needs this to tie the game and he does. Hits uh but hits his tight end over the middle for the first down. Um, it was hard for me to run this game and I, I had no running offense whatsoever until that play. Uh, the read option buck sweet man definitely that was uh, helping me a lot uh, we hit him with another read option play handed it off from right here in third to ten man look at this right here it breaks the tackle ball at four can't get the first down I can't so it's fourth and inches man this is huge I need to go for this I need to keep the uh, change move keep the pressure on him he sends a blitz but my zig route you see me audible uh, ends up beating up and uh, I just take my field goal and get up out of here man that's all I want to do and uh, I take this field goal. We end up winning. I hit the. Uh, he had sent me a message. Um, I'm gonna I'm read it to you guys. But I end up winning the game, man. 13 to 10. Uh, 20 to 13 to 10. Wow. 20 to 17. <laughs> but the Cleveland Browns. And this is what he said. 
Uh, lucky win CPU F me over on that interception that two of my defenders were in front of the ball and I killed it with that interception I threw, which is pretty much true, man. He did, he really did kill kill the momentum when he uh, threw that interception. That pretty much was game, and I just told him good game. So yeah, until next time, it's your boy D the General. I'm signing out. Make sure y'all subscribe to the D and D crew. Thumbs up the video if y'all like it. I'm out, y'all. Peace.